Welcome to the Service Check Sensor Gateway unboxing video. In this video, we will give you a quick tour of the Service Check Sensor Gateway. In this shipment, we received five items a box including the Service Check Sensor Gateway, an external temperature probe, an RJ45 network cable, a power adapter with an international plug set. Let's open up the box containing the sensor gateway. Notice the link to the user manual printed on the side of the box containing the sensor gateway. The sensor gateway is the base unit of a service check environmental monitoring solution. By default, this sensor gateway includes a built-in temperature sensor that you can see on the outside of the unit. It is on the outside in order to provide higher accuracy and temperature readings. It includes on the back two ports for external sensor probes. On the top, you will notice a display which we will show in a minute. The front of the sensor gateway has a network connection and also a hole to connect a power adapter. The unit can be powered either through power over Ethernet, or PoE, or through a wall power adapter. Let's unpack the power adapter. Connect the right plug for your country to the power adapter. Then plug in the pin end into the sensor gateway and plug it into the power outlet. You will now notice that the OLED display on top of the sensor gateway starts showing up with the service check logo. The sensor gateway is now booting up. It immediately starts showing the temperature, which is the reading from the built-in temperature sensor. You will also see on the display the default IP address, 192.168.11.160. We are now going to connect the external probe to it. An external probe connects via a regular RJ45 cable to the sensor gateway. The maximum cable length is 30 feet or 10 meters. We are going to use the supplied orange network cable. Once connected, the sensor gateway automatically detects the probe attached to it and starts displaying its values onto the OLED display. The sensor gateway has also a built-in web server. Through any PC, laptop, or tablet, you can connect to the unit. However, for initial configuration, it is best to use a PC or laptop with a wired connection. Open the network settings of your PC or laptop and change the IP address to 192.168.11.159. Now connect with your browser to http colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.11.160. This is the URL of the built-in web server of the sensor gateway. It will prompt you for a username and password once a connection is established. The default username and password is the word admin, written in lowercase. You can now see the web interface of the sensor gateway. From that interface, you can define thresholds, set alert options, change the IP address, and much more. For more information, we kindly refer you to the user manual.